uh, all is saying right here is that I is an undeclared identifier, meaning that I is a variable that isn't declared, but you're trying to use it. Uh, and this was a bug, I think, inside the Visual C++ 2003, um, where I is declared here. One second. I is declared here inside this for loop, but since there's a semicolon there, um, it's no longer, it's not going to be present here. It's not going to be present here, so you can't reference I because it's out of scope here. You can't reference I here. It's, re it's declared in this local scope. So all you have to do is declare I here. So it's inside the scope for this entire function, uh, up from from here to here, and this should fix a problem. Press F7 to compile. Okay, now let's try our shuttle PB. If everything works out correctly, it should delete uh, any vessels near it within the... <laughs> Actually, we got one crucial part. We forgot a very crucial part. Let's see whether anyone actually picked it up. Let's see what is going to happen after the 180 or whatever seconds remaining. Let's forward time a little bit. It's a very stupid mistake. <laughs> okay. And... Orbiter crashes. Not really crashes. Orbiter closes down because we didn't check for distance which means that the shell PB deleted every single vessel inside the simulation. So this is a very stupid mistake. We can fix it easily by declaring two vector threes, two vectors. One is going to hold the global position of the shell PB, and the other is going to hold the global position of the target vessel that we're scanning. And. Um, This variable will hold the distance between the two uh, vessels. Okay, and we are going to get the global position of the target vessel. And we're going to get the distance between the two. This is a, a utility function declared inside, I think, orbiter sdk.h or orbiter api.h it gives you the distance between two vectors and if the distance if d is less than or equal to pb explosion radius is it explosion radius or damage radius let's see damage radius then we delete this uh, vessel. Let's try this again. Oh, we have one error. Cannot convert parameter one from vector three to, as you can see here, uh, the error is located here and is saying that it cannot convert parameter uh, one from vector three, the vector three pointer to vector three reference. So all we have to do is get rid of that. I didn't see the... <laughs> see, if you look here, vector 3, and then there's this ampersand sign, and then post, which means that position is uh, you're giving the function a reference to the variable g post instead of uh, sending it out as a pointer, instead of giving the parameter as a pointer. It's a reference. Uh, is different here. Here you actually give it a give the per, uh, give a pointer as a parameter. Just some C++ semantics, and we start it again. Okay, just to make sure that it works this time, I'm going to take this shuttle PB, I mean shuttle A, and move it here. 
decelerating time. And boom. Uh, everything, the shuttle PB as well as the shuttle A are gone. But the rest of the vessels are intact. So this works. Secondly, what we're going to do is um, displaying information as a debug string can be very, very annoying because if you have two instances of shuttle PB, one instance is going to override the debug string of the other. And um, it's also very distractive. It um, messes up with the immersion. So we're just going to print this information directly onto the screen. We're going to use a function called draw HUD. We're going to override it. And the definition. And we want to scale the text so that um, it does so that the text is positioned on the screen independent of the resolution. And let's say that we want a hundred characters across the screen and um a hundred lines down hundred lines um top to bottom and let's say that we want to start at the center of the screen so we're going to do h p s i divided by two okay and here is my uninitialized buffer to store the text. Okay. So we want to print the information onto the HUD itself. So we go to seconds remaining and give it the parameter PB explosion time minus OP get sim time and length uh, uh, s printf returns the length of the string and then we're going to use a win32 API call uh, GDI graphics device interface call uh, called text out you should also get familiar with the win32 API it's very very useful <coughs> the first parameter asks you for the device context, a handle to the device context which we have here. Uh, second, <coughs> excuse me, second parameter asks us the exposition of where we want the text printed. And uh, let's just give it width as the, ar as the argument. Second parameter, parameter asks for the height and we're going to give it Y. And third parameter asks for the string itself, which is buffer for this the length of the string. And we want to skip two lines, skip one line or one or two lines, so we're just going to do y plus equals height times two to skip two lines. And just to make sure the two lines are skipped, we're going to write something buffer hail probe. Okay, so let's test this out. We're going to erase this. Press F5 to start Orbiter inside debug. So now it's actually debugging it. We're running Orbiter inside the debugger. 
So if orbiter crashes because of something, we are going to have more information. So